Hello, uh, it is Bob here, and it is the 23rd day of September of the year 2020. I'm in Boomtown Verde, Nevada. I am about to pick up stakes and head up to the mountain. Uh, I still got to verify, make sure those campgrounds are still open. But I expect they are. I'm just not sure what the conditions are, whether it's going to stay up there or not. And I still got to get those tires. I'm debating a little bit on exactly what I'm going to do there. Uh, in the meantime... So this is the Napier's Descriptio. This is the three images he uses to introduce the idea of logarithms, okay? So there, there's three images, so they're pretty important. I'll show you what I did with them. Oh, I got to do again. I forgot. No. System preferences. There are their preferences. There they are. Okay. And now we get the bigger arrow. Dear, now we got a big arrow. We don't need to get rid of that. I'll need to get it back. Okay, here's a go. This is the images. This is about how he's got them on page, book one, chapter one, page four. And he had introduced those earlier, but you got them all three together here on this page. So, what does it look like? So what do I do? I move, The ratio is uh, here. Uh, in other words, you take it down here, and it's the same ratio. I'll show you how that works. Yeah. This is one, one unit, and then it, it's uh, this long, and it turns out to be seven units long. I'll show you seven units right forget this in the middle right now for the moment i'm supposed to get that out so it's seven units you can tell this is the arithmetic line it's the geometric line right so there we go so qs is qs down here the whole line the whole ratio line is seven units qr uh, is uh six units because it's seven minus to one there yeah. okay and then so the ratio qr qs is six to seven that's the ratio he uses in the imagery I don't know what he used yet in the tables. I, I don't quite have that down yet. And I think this is a plank, and then we go here. So, down below here, however, and now, oh, this is not quite lined up, is it? Look at that. Hmm. Well, yeah, okay. I think I can do this. I see where that is. Uh, corrections to be made. Yeah, this is how, how the ratio, how the, uh, how the, uh, the ratio is applied geometrically. That ratio is the uh, common multiplier on the geometric uh, progression. Right? Goes down to G, and that's as far as he got. And I don't think I do. Yeah, that's an ex a little excess. I got to get rid of that when I get a chance. Right now, I got to get uh, You know, I got to uh, get ready and, and leave. So uh, I'll come back to this when I can. I don't know when that's going to be. Okay. So in the meantime, let me go down to. And then this will get back to the original image. That's the original image. Give or take. I translated to English. Used English letters so we, we don't have to worry about learning Greek. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what this looks like on the... Uh, let me see. It looks good enough. Anyway, I call, I'm calling these fluxions. I'm not sure yet. Same thing down here, fluxions. Now this, that's an ET. That's, on, that's the original ET can't figure that one out unless you figure it out same thing over here that's what it looks like there and then I'm thinking to go infinite or limit as Delta X approaches zero that's a, this is a finite, finite kind of thing that would be the limit I think but we're gonna work on that we're gonna the reason I want to approach like this is I want to approach it from somebody who doesn't know calculus. I want to approach it from the from the other side where I you know a teacher would approach it from I know calculus, and you've got to learn it from me, and you better do what I tell you. I want to approach it from the idea, what the heck's going on here? I don't know. And uh, what what kind of ideas would I use to try and figure it out? And that's what I want to apply to the animation. 